Good morning to all the wonderful people. How we doing today? I think we're going to cover Reno 911 in depth today. Since he uploads about 200 uh, short videos a week, I'm going to take a few of them and I'm going to take out the good parts and put them all in one, one video uh, for your entertainment, for your viewing pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. This guy is something else. And Jeff Scott, the director of the library system, said that I was upsetting people and pushed me. Okay. Trespassed me. Okay. Laid, laid, physically laid so hands. So he touched you. Yes. Okay. And it's on the video. Okay. And I gave that guy, the video to you guys. Okay. And evidently the case has been closed. Well, that's all right, Reno. I'm sure you're going to keep trying. I'm sure you're going to successfully, uh, you know, accomplish your, your complaints and lawsuits one of these times. Let's check out something else. The video matches the video of another incident was that was very similar. That man has been convicted subsequently in Washoe County. So why would this man that did the exact same thing not be investigated and not be convicted? What? I'm afraid he lost me completely on that one. I would guess different uh, video, different people, different outcome, different circumstances, different thing altogether. So, what? I guess we could go watch him get another prison put into lockdown for talking to the inmates. Let's check that out. We're here at the Northern Nevada Transitional Housing, so that's where the prisoners go once they get out of prison to uh, transition out, I guess. Uh, told about this place, never knew about it before, so gonna go find out what we got going on in here. They don't come much thicker than this guy. He was arrested at the prison, hot boxed, all that stuff. You've probably seen the video I did on it. Anyway, yeah, now he's going to go back to this place, which is a, still a prison, but it's a transitional facility. He's going to talk to uh, the, somebody inside. Somebody's going to come out and tell him to get lost. And then he's going to go talk to a bunch of prisoners, and all of a sudden they're going to lock the prison down, probably because he's talking to the prisoners. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh, visitor's entrance, so you don't get to get in. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to do a public information request, please. It's going to be a few minutes before anybody actually reaches out back to him, so you know, go grab a cup of coffee. you got a minute. Hello? Hello. Calling Reno 911 audits. Hello. 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 Hello, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, it's just gonna be another minute. Somebody's finally gonna answer the thing. Hello? Hello? I mean, I can stay here all day and film if that's what you're against. Yeah, he's uh, just waiting for the case board to come out. I can't let you in. This is the, the State of Nevada Department of Corrections. And for your safety, I'm gonna keep you out there for a bit until the officer yeah. Okay, so you can take a public information request? Yeah. Oh, good. I hate to burst your bubble, but they're not going to give him a public information request. We're going to speed ahead until the officer finally comes out. <laughs> uh, it looked like an easier path to uh, hold people accountable. And if that doesn't work, then I will go file a 1983 lawsuit against uh, Hello. MDOC. Hi there, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good. My name is Drew. What's your name? Uh, I'm Harvey. Harvey, I want to do an information request. Okay. Anything that you need, you can go through the Department of Corrections website. Yeah, I, I want to do it. In, I want to do it in person. NRS 239 is what I'm acting okay. under. Yeah, so and what NRS 239 says sir. is I can do it in person. He's going to just keep throwing a bunch of codes at this guy. The guy don't care. He's not going to give it to him. He's giving him an option of a way to get it, which is all that's required. It doesn't say they have to give it to you just because you can ask for it. So suck it. The only thing I can tell you is that we are a private facility. You can go to Carson City, Stewart Complex, I'm sure you're aware of it. 
and you can make your request there to the public information officer. Well, I, I shouldn't, I should, myself, well, no, you don't have to give me anything, but yeah. the, what the law says, like I said, this is NRS 239, is what, sure. what I'm operating under, and we would agree that you have to operate under the law, right? What authority gives you the right to operate under anything? You're not an attorney, you're not, a, you're not a law enforcement, what are you operating under? Sir, all I can tell you is I'm not a public information officer. I, I don't need a public information and officer. I don't have direct information or contact with any yeah. uh, public. No, all, what, which the, you are what, part of. what the law and says. So I'm going to point you to Carson City and talk to the administration right. in Carson City. What the law says. Um, the, law, the offices are closed, I believe, at the moment. Yeah. Can and I tell you what the law says, or you want to go read? No, sir. I'm going to just point you to Carson City, and you can go on the website, Nevada Department of Corrections. And follow up with any information. There's okay. all the phone numbers. So, so what you're saying is you're gonna you're gonna not follow the law. I don't know who you are. I, I just I'm introduced just myself, you, didn't I'm I? Just pointing you to Carson City. That's all. Well, I'm did doing. I introduce myself okay. politely Sir, and cordially? All I'm doing is pointing you to Carson City. Right. Like I said, we're private. Uh, yeah, but but a, should, uh, sh so so let's say a prisoner gets out and wants. to... What a good shit. It's not going to work, Reno. Just move on. He's just going to walk away because he's tired of you and you're stupid. To exercise their rights like under I the said, law. So you're going to you're going to you're going to deny people that. Sir, well, no, it's facility. not a secure facility. It, it says visitors entrance right there. It's a secure the facility. The sign itself says visitors entrance. It is a there's a secure prison facility there, just like any of our facilities. Well, no, so there's visitors areas, public areas, no, sir. and then there's it's areas that are denied to the public. Well, I hope we all learned something new today. A prison is not a secure facility because people can go there to visit. I'm telling you, this guy is dumber than a rock. So you may contact Department of Corrections. You can look for the uh, director's information. Well, I know, but deputy, I've, I've currently got a lawsuit okay. against Deputy Quenga. All right. So do I need more lawsuits? I guess that's the question. I don't have any information beyond what I'm allowed to tell you. And I so you so you're refusing to do an NRS 239 uh, public information request where, the where, where the law says I can come into any office and give a verbal request? So I guess he doesn't want to follow the law. Yeah, I guess I guess he doesn't. He doesn't want to listen to you ramble on with all your nonsense. Anyway, now he's going to go over and he's going to start talking to some inmates to prove that it's not a secure facility. Now remember, this is a transitional. They get out of prison, they come to this place, and this is where they transitioned into halfway houses or back to their homes or whatever. So it's a semi-minimum minimum security type of center, but still, check it out. Okay, cool. So, so I... I'm, I'm just doing videos for YouTube. Okay. Showing what our, our government does. Yeah, for sure. So, so is this any good for you, what they've done? Well, absolutely. This is uh, probably the best opportunity I've had. Um, was, I'm currently in the NDOC, um, so the restitution center is giving me a chance to uh, rehabilitate myself, man. This inmate completely blows his uh, narrative out of the water about it being a terrible place and this and that. Just listen to this guy explain to what a wonderful place this thing is and what they're doing for him. Um, you know, we have a free access to the yard out here. We're going out into the community. We're filling out applications. Um, you see some of our guys are getting dropped off via taxi service. Yeah. You know, so we have we have a blessed opportunity here. So, the, so the system is is working for you. Ab absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more with that. Cool. You know, I, as a uh, as a ex felon myself, you know, like I always had this uh, preconceived idea that the system's not working, you know, F the system. But no, the system wants us to rehabilitate. They want us to reintegrate the society and wants us to do better things. Man. I'm, so, glad, I'm glad you're having a better experience than I think I might have had. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't had an experience. You've been arrested. You were in the jail cell for about an hour. You've had no experience in prison. What corruption are you trying to fight? You've never been there. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's all in a matter of perspective, really. Per you know? Well, what you just said, perspective is everything. Absolutely. My, my perspective is one of, uh, well, I'm out here recording the government because I don't think that they're doing the right thing, so it's nice to hear that somebody that's been under the control of the government yeah. might, might be getting some well, benefit. Well, yeah, I mean, in, you know, in like a... It's not necessarily just the government. I mean, we have we have legislators. We have we have the state. I mean, we have we have a lot of stuff that, you know, it, there's a lot of red tape with a lot of different issues. And uh, as far as the state and uh, the director Drozov's coming in and uh, the governor Lombardo, I mean, they're they're doing real real good things for us. Uh, what what changes have you seen since they since uh, the new director came in and? Uh... Um, the governor. Uh, There's going to be another minute or so before the lockdown kicks in, but I just want you to hear what this inmate has to say. He's just blowing Reno 911. It's all his bullshit right out the window because they're actually doing things in this area to 
to help the prisoners. Amnesty. Um, Amnesty. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of programs coming in. I know Senate Bill, uh, I think it was 413 or 418 just passed. Um, so they're giving uh, offenders opportunities to get back into programs, to get into uh, rural camps. Good. You know, um, we're getting time off of our sentence, um, depending on the category of offense. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm seeing, I mean, Aramark just came in. We got a new change of our food because we were getting small portions and, you know, and stuff like that. So, I mean, they changed the menu. We get better food, better food quality. And, uh, and then we have a state of our facility right here. We Good. Hot showers. Thank you for saying positive stuff, man. For sure. Because I, I, I see it, well, like, I, I'm here trying to do a public information request. Okay. And they just denied me the request. No, they didn't. You're a liar. They just told you where to go get it. That's all. Well, so, yeah, I mean, I, 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 could, I could understand, because, uh... You gotta lock it down, lock it down, lock it down. Well, yeah, I gotta lock it down, so we gotta go. They, they don't like me. <laughs> I wonder if this because of me. <laughs> Have a good one, man. So they locked the facility down, it sounds like. So did they lock it down because of me? Well, here, let's, uh, let's go look inside their vans. Dude, you just talked in person to an inmate that told you everything was great, that they're passing these new laws, they got these new things they're doing, they're really trying to improve the uh, the uh, justice system and all that, uh, but you're going to find something to bitch and whine about, aren't you? I don't know if they closed the place down because of him. It could be at that regular time of day where they where they shut the place down. Uh, they probably do that to do a head count. They do them a couple, three times a day. Most jails do. Anyway, yeah, fuck this guy. This guy's an idiot. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do today is getting his tag numbers and looking in the cars and doing all the real stuff that uh, people with his brain matter, you know, do. Anyway, that's all I got. I ain't playing no more of this idiot. I'm tired of listening to him. Love y'all. Bye.